This book is called The Kissing Hand, and you can see on our uh, cover here, on our title page, that we have our title, The Kissing Hand, right here. And the author, the person who wrote the words, is Audrey Penn. And the illustrator, the one that draws the pictures of our characters, their names are Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leake. There's two illustrators of this book. And the main character here, who the story is mainly about, is Chester. He's a little raccoon and he's going to school for the very first time and he's very nervous to leave his mom. And so um, she gives him a little bit of advice, something that helps him feel better while he's at school every day. So let's read about Chester and see how he does on his first day of school. Here's Chester right here. And you can see by his little face, do you see his little teardrops right there? He's very sad and nervous. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. May I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. So here Mrs. Raccoon is giving Chester a little hug because he's upset. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. So Chester goes to school at night because he's a raccoon and raccoons are nocturnal, which means that they're awake during the night and they sleep during the day. So you'll come to school during the day and then go home at night to sleep. So his is reversed. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread it open until his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky, shiny black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just put your hand to your cheek and think mommy loves you, mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts. Here's all of Chester's friends. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now do be careful not to lose it, she, see, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. So he doesn't have to worry because when he's feeling a little lonely or missing his mother, he just puts his hand to his cheek and remembers his mother's kiss and his kissing hand. That night, 
Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. What do you think Chester's going to do? He just asked his mom to give him her hand. What do you think he's going to do? What's he doing? Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and he kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Here he goes off to his school. There's his mom waving to him. She's giving an I love you signal in sign language. See her, fi her fingers and her thumb? I love you. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you. Chester loves you, it sang. So now his mom has a kissing hand, because I bet mom is going to miss Chester a lot while he's away at school, too. And here's Chester in his class. Remember, he goes to class at night. So here's all his friends in his classroom. And there's Chester. I love you. And there's his kissing hand with his mother's kiss. I hope that reading the kissing hand uh, helped you feel a little bit better about coming to school tomorrow if you're a little bit nervous um, or scared about leaving somebody really special at home. And I hope you know that you're going to have so much fun this year in your brand new classroom and you're going to make a lot of new friends and we're going to have so much fun. And pretty soon you're going to be ready to come to school every day and you'll be excited to come. So uh, I can't wait to see you tomorrow and I'm going to be right in the library waiting for you when you say um, goodbye to maybe mom or dad or a babysitter, grandma and grandpa, whoever's bringing you to school tomorrow, or if you're on the bus, I'm going to be, I'm going to be right there waiting for you. So don't be nervous. And, um, I can't wait to see you. Bye.